but what is going on guys back with another video and in today's video we're going to be adding on the i wouldn't say it's like an intake insulator kind of like keeps the heat out of the intake i don't even know what to call it really just insulated tape or something like that i don't know i got it off amazon it was only like 10 bucks i decided to try it out because the intake i have is completely aluminum and the engine bay gets really hot and <laughs> There's no point in having a cold air intake if the piping itself is hot. So I just said, let's give it a shot. If, it's, if it doesn't work, it's only $10 if it works. Yay. I mean, I won't really no notice a difference until the car warms up and I can still feel a good bit of power out of the car. Because I'm not going to lie, when this car reaches like operating temp and plus, the timing gets pulled like crazy and this car is slow. You can feel it. It feels a lot faster now since I added the cold air intake, but it's still you can still feel that it's down on power like crazy. So I'm hoping this little part will help. I, I know it's like that heat soak itself is common for these cars, but I'm trying to keep as much cold air flowing through the car to, you know, minimize the heat soak as much as possible. So yeah, I'll show you what I got real quick so I can stop talking and shut up. Oh yeah, before I do that, Make sure you get your legendary burnout merch. Links down below. Alrighty, so this is the intake wrap right here. It's supposed to go over this. I'm gonna clean it a little bit beforehand so it's not, well, so it can actually adhere to the freaking pipe because this thing is like dusty even though I cleaned it two days ago. Let me get this out of the way. So yeah, we're gonna add this on. It's gonna be gold. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but we're just gonna have to, you know, check it out and see really. So I'm gonna get this all unbolted really quick and then, you know, we're gonna proceed. We got this all unbolted up got it right here in my hand the other part for the intake the other part for the intake is still sitting right there i'm not sure if i want to add it on to that part just yet i mean it's only like a small part and i could easily do it i just don't want to unbolt the actual intake itself so i'm just going to get this wrapped up really quick and uh, i mean actually i should just do it since it's literally i think i just pull it off I think I could just pull it off, hopefully. All right, let me try to pull this off real quick. <laughs> All right, never mind. It ain't coming off. So, um, that part should be fine since it's so far down. Yeah, this part's not hot, but this part is actually still warm. So, I think I'm just gonna worry about this part because this part is literally like cool to the touch. And I literally just drove this car like 20 minutes ago, maybe. No, well, maybe an hour ago. But yeah, yeah, let's, let's get it going. Alrighty, so here it goes. Yeah, I didn't do too well of a job. I mean, this is the side that you see, so I was really focusing on like making the side look perfect. But yeah, I ran out. I ran out. It was not as much as I thought it was gonna be. Cause I think it was like five meters or so. But I totally forgot that you know when you wrap stuff around, <laughs> that takes up a lot of length too. Anywho, so I'm gonna order some more really quick. Hopefully it gets here by tomorrow. And yeah, we're just gonna you know get into it. I'm gonna pick the video up when the uh, when the rest of it comes. All right, so it's been almost a week since I recorded the last part. I had to wait for 
more of this to come in since I ordered it from Amazon. If it shows up, I can't. It's hard to tell if it's showing up on this freaking camera because my other camera's charging. Anywho, well, I'm wondering if I showed up. Anywho, uh, <laughs> I got half of this wrapped. I just have that little section right here to go. But uh, yeah, ever since I even put this on, the IAT temps on this vehicle has been a lot lower from previously having it just bare metal. So glad to know that it works. And by work, I mean, it works a lot better. Like my AT temps were like over a hundred when without this, but when, since I put it on, it's been under like 90 each time. And it, we've been having some cool days. So I'm trying to see like how high it will get when it's warmer. But since we're in the fall, I won't know till like next summer or if we have like a random warm day. But yeah, I'm just gonna pull this back out and finish up on the wrapping part. Alrighty, so I just finished up wrapping the intake. Here's the final product. Doesn't look too amazing because all the bends in the intake, but the side that you can see, like when it's actually inside the car, looks pretty good. This is what it's gonna look like from the top, of well, like the part you can see. Uh, that top part right there goes inside of the coupler, so you really don't see that. But this is all you see right here, and then it goes down to the bend, and you don't see that because that's all tucked away by the washer fluid reservoir and all that stuff so not too bad of a job could have been better but i was lazy and i was rushing through it really and i didn't want to take the time to do the bends properly as you can see and as you can see on this one so they, the bends came out horrible but the straightaways came out really nice like really nice but other than that it's a good product i love it so far it was real easy to work with oh i keep scratching my car with this thing never mind it wiped away it was just that dirt anyway it's an easy product to work with I love working with it. Uh, it's very adherent. This is not a sponsored video by any means, but it's very adherent. It's easy to put on. It's easy to work with. It's very strong. I had to use some very strong scissors just to cut through it. Uh, I ended up wrapping the, the the long part that the the longest part twice because that's the part that's closest to the engine bay. And like the downturn is pretty much our engine bay. The the long. The longest part is closest to the uh, the engine, so I double wrapped that to keep that extra insulation in. And then like the downturn, that's pretty, it has a good little distance in between the engine block and the filter, so I decided to not really focus on this part, or the short part too much, and I didn't wrap the part that holds the filter itself. So yeah. But so far, I love this product. It's really good. It, helped my IETs a lot. Like beforehand they were like around 100, now they're down in the 80s on a cool day. So yeah, I'm really happy about this. Money well spent, I thought it was gonna be some cheap product because they were only $6, but other than that, pretty good, really good. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and install this back in the car. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like inside the car really quick. Alrighty guys, so this is the final product right here. I'm really happy how it turned out. Like it looks really good inside the car. Let me step back a little bit. It looks really good. Uh, from right here, you can only see like the little weaves of the wrapping and then like the few wrinkles that are right here from the uh, under wrap. But um, it looks so good from up top. Like you can't even see like the ugliness of the joint right there or the joint right there unless you actually look for it. Uh, it looks really good inside the car. I kind of want to paint it, uh, paint the wrap, not the wrap, paint, yeah, paint the wrap to like a different color. Cause it kind of like stands out like crazy in this in the, in the engine bay, and I have nothing else that's gold besides the Chevy bow tie, and that's like almost a slight sh a few shades lighter than that. So I kind of want to do something like make maybe paint it blue with some high temperature paint and like paint the engine cover blue, just to give some contrast to the engine bay, give give it a different little look and stuff like that. Nothing too crazy, but uh, I wonder if I can actually paint this and hopefully it's not too slick to hold paint. Because I, I think this material may be too uh, slick to hold paint. But as long as it does its job with the reflecting the heat from the engine bay, then it's doing perfectly fine for me. And I'll just leave it like that. Because right now, it looks really good. Like, it looks really good. that's gonna be all for today's video looks so good behind me like you can see it's like right there let me just, let me just open it up. looks real good yeah you can see it right there but uh but that's gonna be all for today's video um 
Stay tuned for the next video. I have something special coming for this car. That's why the car is in the garage right now. I'm about to jack it up and start working on it. Just wait for it. It's not headers. I'm gonna just put that out there right now. Headers will come soon. Headers will be the next thing, I promise. But um, yeah, it's coming. Just gonna, just, should take me like two hours to put on. So that, that's kind of like a quick guess. It's underneath the car. Well, technically it's underneath the car. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna slap it on or take the old one out, put the new one in and give you guys a review of it. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go too much into it because I'm gonna save that for that video that I'm about to record in like a few minutes. So if you guys see that I'm wearing the same, you know, shirt and everything, same pants and everything, but they look a lot dirtier. That's because I was on the ground under the car. Anywho, but yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to get your legendary burnout merch. The channel is growing like crazy. Thank you for all the new subscribers and everything like that. This camera about to be fast. That's all I'm saying. It's about to be fast, like real fast. I want to take it to the drag strip right before the drag strip closes because it's fall and it's starting to get a little cool down here. And I'm not sure if the drag strips in Texas close since, you know, we're in the south. Because I know California's drag strips and Florida drag strips, they are open year round. But uh, hopefully our drag strips don't close because I, I don't think it ever gets cold enough to close the drag strips down. And I want to take it out there. And now that I got this part that I'm about to put on in the next video, we're going to have some fun. But anywho, thank you guys for tuning in to another video. Peace out.